Hi, I'm Eric Judy. And I'm Dick Van Dyke. We have a controversy that we're always kind of in the middle of, and, and that is which annuity is best in what yeah. given situation. And uh, two of our hottest topics are hybrid annuities yeah. and pre-issued annuities. All right. Once, <laughs> that's better. Which one's better? Come on, tell Just us. Just give me a quick answer. That's right. Let's get this video over. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> How do you take care of the answer of which one is best? So yeah. let's start with some of the positives on the pre-issued side. Oh, okay. So you're looking at what higher than normal growth. You're going to get a much better yield. So so, and then you contrast that with. On the hybrid side, uh, hybrid well, hybrid and all fixed annuities. I mean, if you really come down to fixed annuities, fixed index annuities, what we call the hybrid annuities, yeah. which are the fixed index with the the income rider. Um, when you're looking at actual uh, APY, uh, your your annual uh, percentage yield, uh, it is not good yeah. in fixed annuities or fixed index annuities. I mean, we might be talking about somewhere between. Two to four percent. So I, mean, I agree. So so okay. if we're looking at simplistically, here, right? Growth potential. If we're yes. lining off, say, we put the check under the pre-issued annuity. So yes. But what what kind of yield are we looking at there? So we're looking at what, five to eight percent typically. Yeah, and, and I and I think being realistic without overstating it, you are right. It, it is five to, five to eight. <laughs> but he's going to downplay. But, but it. I'm just going to say five to six. Five, is five and a quarter, <laughs> five and a half is is more standard. Right. Now, if we step into life, uh, not life contingent, but um, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, when you're, you're using the life insurance, <laughs> the life insurance well, yeah. backing of... of well, that is what it. I'm trying to say is life contingent. Yeah. Um, I was thinking uh, life settlement when right. I when I was, you know, uh, questioning. Which is another video but, in and of itself. <laughs> another video. But life contingent, um, you can get up into the 8%. And I have some seen some period certains uh, in the pre-issued that will get up uh, into... Uh, seven percent, that type of thing. So, but um, with the pre-issued, yes, you can expect a much, much better yield. Uh, the guaranteed yield. And that's yes. What, you know what you're getting when you yes. start into it. And it's it's backed yes. up. Let's go. Let's touch on that again. Um, we did from the last couple of videos. Yeah. But on the pre-issued annuities, um, it's backed up by the same A-rated uh, insurance company that we might do with a new issue uh, annuity. So the safety is there. Okay. Now. All right, so now we've got growth probably edges out on the yes. the, the pre-issued side. Now right. you take the next step here, and that's, what do we got? The hybrid. So you look at the hybrid, mm -hmm. and what's the positive or the in the, in the growth side? You know, you're, right. you're not right. necessarily... Well, yeah, yeah, and if... It, right. And not it, necessarily it, in it, the cash it, account. And if all we were thinking about was yield, right. uh, we wouldn't maybe choose the hybrid, but... Obviously, there has to be something good about the hybrid yeah. because there's a lot of people that this works for. And the hybrid is really good for income. Right. Guaranteed income a for life. pension style income. Exactly. So mm -hmm. when you're taking an allocation into a hybrid, you're usually focused on lifetime mm -hmm. income because there are guarantees on the rider right. that will give you that higher accumulation amount, but it's usually only for income. So right. Future income. But if we need a pension style income, mm -hmm and we can defer it for some length of time. Typically with a hybrid annuity, we can get about an 8% roll up, which will, uh, no, 7%. 7%, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 see, I'm overstating. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> but things have changed in this rate that's environment. Right. Exactly. And, and from what we used to be able to say. Exactly. Uh, you know, even in the recent past, but um, about 7%. So you got the income roll up. Mm -hmm. So in deferral, those are, they're able to grow at a guaranteed rate. Right. Higher than what we say is right. on a pre-issue. However, right. after the end of your your contract yes. period, your walking away money doesn't necessarily always grow at that rate. Correct. Uh, yeah. Over time, as you take it out on a pension style income, um, yeah, you will get it out, yeah. and you will get the benefit. Um, however, if uh, you want to take it out all at one time, yeah, you couldn't. And another thing I want to contrast between the pre-issued and the hybrid is the flexibility that you have when you're setting up a hybrid. Right. You can set it up the way you need it, the way you want it, the way it's going to work for you. When you want a pre-issued, no. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and that's what I, for me, that's the strongest point. When you're when you're constructing a a hybrid allocation, basically a hybrid annuity allocation, right. it's designed for you. You're building yes. it based off of your needs. Right. When you're getting a pre-issued annuity. 
you're getting something that was designed basically for somebody else's right, purpose. Right. So you have to be flexible. Yeah, repurposing is what I. Yeah, mean. yeah, repurposing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's it's it may not always fit exactly like, like a glove, or may or not fit at all. Yeah. yeah, but you're you're finding benefit in usually right. another area. And typically in this time, it's right. growth. You're right. getting right. better growth, and you're going to get some. Well, and if you can be patient with a pre-issued annuity, and your goal is really yield. Um, you can get that yield to many times be structured the way you want it to come in, uh, whether it's lump sums in five years, ten years, or whether it's uh, a monthly income stream. So you can still get yield and a monthly income stream, this type of thing, but it isn't typically a lifetime income. Yeah. Uh, and one of the questions I've been fielding, especially over after the last couple of videos, is, all right, talk to me about these pre issues. Am I going to get a lump sum at the end? Am I going to get an income stream? Am I going to get, you know, how, how is that configured? And right. the answer was, <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, they come in all those different right, ways. The right. same set of pieces that are constructed when you're doing a, a right. first issue annuity right. are out there in the right. secondary market. Right. Now, the problem is it's not been designed for you. So if someone took a 20-year a period certain, there may be 16 and a half years mm -hmm. left on the piece you're, you're able to purchase. Right. And if that works for your scenario, then it's an ideal situation uh, to get a great yield, get safety. And, and in this market, where can you get yield like that? And that's the key. Set and, with safety. And it, I really like the pre-issued market for somebody who's had CDs that are maturing that just needs a bigger yield. They, right. They, they say, right. where can I get 5%? I wish I could get 5% again. Well, this is well, one of those places. And it, Exactly. C CDs. And, and I like it also for those folks that come out of the stock market and they're like, look, I just don't want the volatility. Right. I don't want the craziness anymore. It, this is predictability uh, but without flexibility. Right. Now, and and right. that's, it, you have to know it's not money you're going to go back in and dip yes. into. You know, right. it doesn't always fit for somebody that needs to get a, a stream of income. It can sometimes, yes. but you yes. don't want to put all of your money in this bucket. Right. Right. So. Well, and then, and, and, you know, as we've said, uh, the hybrid annuity uh, has its, its advantages because you can tailor it to what you need, or what your income needs are, uh, to a husband and wife sharing a joint income. Uh, so many different areas that, that you know, you can, you can tailor it to your specific need. Yeah. So. And like you said, pension-styled income is the best way. Right. That's the perfect fit right. for today's 401k world where you got a lump sum you're walking yeah. in and you want income for life. Yeah. You know, you yeah. want to guarantee that portion. Mm -hmm. the, the hybrid annuity fits like a glove for that. And right. that's where it really right. is a strong point. Right. So, so I, I think we've done a pretty good job here of, of being fair to both. Yeah. Uh, they're both great products and great financial vehicles if they're used properly. And um, I, is there any way to say that a hybrid annuity is better than a pre-issued annuity or a pre-issued annuity is better than a hybrid annuity? Oh, sure. But I wouldn't, need, I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> so, so. so you could say it, but it wouldn't always be true. It wouldn't always be true. <laughs> and, and like we classically end almost every segment here, it, it depends on your situation. It, it does. So. And, and you want to you work with an advisor that really understands the merits yeah. of each and can be fair and, and unbiased about it, it. Exactly. So like we say, make sure you work with somebody that's going to basically yeah. set it in your terms so that it fits your situation. Right. Maybe you need one of each or a couple of each. Ooh, a little diversification. <laughs> yeah, Imagine that. Yeah. Wow. Allocation wow, diversification. What an idea. <laughs> well, thanks for coming in today. Thank you.